go through the process of uh, Trimble Business Center's uh, offline VCL export. I noticed some issues in previous versions. It wasn't working too great. Uh, I think in version 5.51, they have cleared up some of the issues. Uh, this is an important command because it allows you to take uh, advantage of the VCL file format for SiteWorks and EarthWorks. Uh, for SiteWorks, it'll give you the option of having multiple surfaces in one design. Uh, in EarthWorks, there are a few more advantages. You can turn layers on and off. Uh, it supports a wider range of uh, colors for the lines. Uh, it allows you to use uh, 3D lines in the same surface and the same design as your uh, as your surface. So there, there's a lot of advantages in Earthworks, uh, a little bit more than SiteWorks. But uh, for the job I'm going to I'm going to use as an example it is a foundation model, uh, foundation excavation model. It's got a bunch of surfaces. I want uh, the the data collector to be able to have all those surfaces in it in one design. So I'm going to go through this not using uh, the TBC file. I'm gonna go through it as if you made a design in a different, uh, you know, it could be any modeling program and you wanna bring it into to Business Center and export it as a VCL. Uh, this could be the same. I'd suggest this method for, even if you're using Business Center, it's not a bad idea to, to use a separate file just so you know exactly what you have is what you're exporting. So I, uh, I'm using these as, uh, an XML and a DXF. So I exported my surfaces to a land XML and I exported my line work to a DXF, which represents uh, file formats you could use with any program. So here you can see it's foundation model. Uh, I'm gonna delete the surfaces that come with each business center template and so right here, we've got seven services that we want to put into this uh, one design. So this is a perfect, a perfect job to use for, uh, for this example. So I may be using a different ribbon. Uh, you can always come up to your command pane, F12, and you can type in the command that you're looking for if it doesn't look like this. But for here, you want the, first you want to do the works manager project command. So I've got two accounts in there from Works Manager. Of course, you can publish directly to Works Manager. Uh, in this case, I want to go over offline exporter just to get that VCL file. So let's drop this down and let's click the offline account. So I've got some, some jobs already in here, but I'm going to make a new one. So I'm going to hit new offline. Uh, it defaults to the name of the project, uh, the name of the TBC project. So we're just going to leave this at offline VCL. We're going to hit OK and we're going to hit OK. So it brings this up, which you don't have to adjust any of this. Uh, we're just looking to get that design file uh, with the VCL. So the next uh, command that you're going to want to hit is create works manager design. So this is just going to let me name a, name a new design. So I'm just going to call this foundation excavation. I'm going to hit OK. And when I hit OK, it automatically brings up this Works Manager Design Manager, which is this command over here. Uh, and this is where I want it. This is how I'm going to get the VCL. So uh, the first thing it's really asking for is, is what type of model do you want? So hit Change Model. And you'll recognize these are some of the same, same options as the normal uh, construction data workflow in, in TBC, if you've ever used it. Uh, if you haven't used it, a surface basically is just a, a single TTM. Uh, alignment, uh, I don't use that very often. That's just for alignments. Uh, road surfaces will make you a PRO file. Uh, 3D line work is just 3D lines for usually for excavators. Uh, I don't use the material layer. So uh, what we want to pick is the user defined. So user defined is just a way of saying it's going to be an, a VCL. So click the user defined. Click the objects, click down in the objects to add or remove, and I'm just going to highlight everything. And then I'm going to I'm going to tab over to my Project Explorer and make sure that all my surfaces are selected. So all the surfaces were selectable; they were all on, so they're all selected right here. Uh, I'm going to hit the Add button. 
233 objects were added. I'm going to hit OK. Now, it does give you the option of, of doing stakeout points in a design map. If you add anything to uh, either of these sections, the stakeout points will it'll create you a, a CSV. Uh, the design map will create you a DXF next to whatever your model is, which in this case, it's a VCL. I don't see the point of doing that. Uh, you shouldn't need to do this if you're using that user-defined model. Everything can be in that uh, in that VCL, so there's no need to add stakeout points or design map separately. So at this point, you're just going to hit publish. So this basically says, do you want to pub continue publishing only to the local disk? So this is not going to publish to Works Manner because the account is offline. And of course, yes, that's what we want to do. It says the design was published successfully. So what we want to do is we want to go to the, <clears throat> so go to your Trimble Synchronizer data folder, which is in your C drive. And if you sort by date modify, you should see this works manager one would be the most recent one. Uh, so you want to go into works manager and these are your offline files. So this offline VCL is what we had created designs and it doesn't, it doesn't put it into a, a folder. Uh, it does, it does create this VCL. It does add some, uh, random characters at the back of it, uh, which none of that really matters. So I'm just going to copy this. And then I'm going to go, so I'm just going to navigate in my uh, Trimble SES 900 data, which is what my uh, emulator runs off of. I'm just going to navigate to this project. Uh, I should already have it. So I'm going to paste that VCL in a new design folder. This one's called Foundation VCL. So I'm going to run SiteWorks. I'm going to run my emulator and I'm just going to test this design. So I'm going to go to foundation VCL and then it's asking me what surface. So I've got all these different surfaces. Uh, I'm just going to pick that first one, hit accept. This is my 3D view. So th this surface is uh, column footings. I can switch to uh, switch to my plan view. Zoom in. So here's my line work. If I was standing on top of these columns, I would have a surface there. Uh, everything's here in one, one project. If I were to hit change project, I could change to a different surface very quickly. So this surface just happens to be right here. So uh, that's what you're going to get with a VCL. And then, of course, if you put this in a machine, it's going to look very similar. Um, it'll have multiple surfaces, but it'll also allow you to turn layers on and off. Uh, it'll allow you to see all the colors, not just the, the ones that are supported by uh, the SVL file. So the offline uh, VCL exporter through the works manager commands in business center it does work pretty well and it is unlocked uh, it, it does also let you do uh, 3d lines in in, uh, in the machines as well so uh, a lot of uses for that i'm glad that trimble's working on cleaning up that command in business center in versions earlier than 5.51 i've seen quite a few issues uh, i've not seen too many in this version so i think it definitely does work uh, you might have an error message here and there but uh, they're definitely making progress to make it a little bit easier for you to export your model files to uh, the VCL format.